The first time that I got crossed over and scored on by a guy that I perceived to have less ability than me or have it harder in life, my whole world changed. And I just remember telling myself, don't close the eyes, because if I close my eyes, I'm going to die. I never thought before that I was going to be a, you know, a wheelchair all my life. Once you have a, someone in a wheelchair to be in a relationship with, you'll never go back. <laughs> the team has become my brothers. Play like men, we're gonna go home. Nationals, where we're going all the way in. The only positive thing I do, I do it for basketball. This is my escape. This is what's most likely get me an education. If I gotta push 20 miles a day, wake up at 7 in the morning to be there by 5 in the afternoon, I'm gonna do it. I don't think I would have this opportunity if it wasn't for the sport. I got the scholarship. <laughs> What we do is beyond basketball. It's beyond wheelchair sports. It's life and how we choose to live it.